Hey, it's Courtney with All Brands. Today we're going to do a few scan and cut projects, so let's get into it. All right, I'm going to show you how to scan an image. I took this image from online. I just typed in Christmas tree. I didn't like any of the straight ones they had. I wanted to have a bit of curve to it. And we're going to actually cut this out today uh, of cork. We're then going to take the cork and we're going to put vinyl ornaments on top of it. I think it would be really cute. You could put it inside of a frame or you could just hang it up on its own. So let's get started. So right here I have a scanning mat. Do you have to have a scanning mat? No, but it makes things a lot help, or more helpful. You could do it on the low tack uh, cutting mat, but you see how easy it is to put it on there? And I'm not losing stickiness on my mats or anything like that. So we've got her in there. I just slipped her on in there, regular computer paper. We're going to scan her in. There we go. All right, and we're going to go ahead and hit scan. We're going to scan to cut data because we don't want to scan correct because remember we've got our scanning mat in there and I don't want to cut my scanning mat. Honestly, the machine's not going to let you. It's going to notice that the scanning mat's in there and tell you you can't do it. So we're going to scan to cut data. We're going to hit start. Now this is just asking me do I should move the lever. There is a lever inside since the new scanning cuts can actually cut a lot thicker. That's what the lever is for. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. Because it's thin, it's just scanning. It's nothing thick like a puffy foam or anything like that that I would need to up for that. Okay, there's my image. Now let's say if I had something on decorative on the inside of my mat, it would show up on here. And I could select that I want to cut the interior out. Or I just want to cut the exterior out, which is what I want to do this time. So we're going to cut exterior. There she is. If you notice there's things at the bottom, little words for my printout. I'm going to go ahead and go in closer to it. And you could do this in your editing screen or you could do it now. It's up to you. I like to just go ahead and knock it out. Not that I would forget, but we're going to hit preview to look at our image. It looks pretty great to me. So we're going to hit OK. Now, where do you want to save? Do you want to save to your machine? Do you want to save to your laptop that's nearby because she is Wi-Fi capable, capable? Or do you want to save to a USB? I want to save to my machine. All right, so it gives you a saved number. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And it brings us back to the screen. Why is it bringing us back to the screen? Because, like I said, if it had interior things or had something else that you want to zoom in on that one image, you can now do it now instead of having to scan it back through. But we just want it the outside of our tree. So we're going to go home. We're going to hit OK. We're going to unload our mat. And we're done with our mat. We're done with our image. And we're going to go to retrieve data. Now it's asking, where do you want to retrieve this from? Do you want to retrieve this from the machine, the laptop, or the USB? We saved it in our machine. Okay, now these are all my previous ones, but you can, of course, scroll all the way to the bottom, get our tree, and there she is. We're going to hit OK. Now we can do whatever we want to her. We could edit her smaller. We could edit her bigger. We could add additional things. If you wanted to put an image on there, like a candy cane or a circle or a star, and have it cut out at the same time as that tree, you could do it now if you wanted to. But I just want my tree, so I'm going to hit OK. Please select, and we want to cut. Again, we could draw on the cork. We could do anything like that. Let's grab our mat. Okay, so we're going to put our cork on our mat. If you have a brayer, now would be a great time for that. I'm going to load our mat in. Make sure she's really stuck on there. Okay, now if you notice, half cut is on. Half cut is when we do vinyl. We do not want half cut, so we're going to go to our wrench. We're going to scroll down where half cut is, and we are going to turn it off because we want this to cut all the way through our cork. We don't want a half cut. Okay, and we're going to hit start. Uh 
Oh, it's the best part is when you take it off. And she's perfect. Okay. Now, I want to do additional things. Not that she's not cute on her own. If you had more of a rustic tree or something like that, you could make her smaller and make her into ornaments. I've done that before. Um, but I want to add things to her. I want to embellish her. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I have some vinyl pieces here that I want to use. I'm thinking we can make a star out of this pretty gold. And we can make a few ornaments out of these. Right, so we're going to go back home. And we're going to select patterns. Now for an ornament, we could get a pretty ornament or we could just do circles. It's really up to you. The Scan and Cut has so many different images, different shapes built in that you could do a number of them. But I think for us, it might just be okay to do a circle. Let's see, let's go back. Now do I just want one ornament? That's not a lot of fun. I want a ton of ornaments. So what I'm going to do is tell it I want multiple of this image. Okay, set. Okay, there's not enough space on your mat. So we're going to decrease and we can always end more. But for how it wants to lay out, it's saying there's too many. Oh, it's because they're too big. Let's make them a little smaller. We don't want our ornament bigger than our Christmas tree. Let's go down a little bit more. There's all of our little ones. So now what we have to do is put our vinyl onto our mat. You really should be doing this on a low tack mat instead of a standard. But since my standard mat's pretty much lost a lot of its stickiness, I need to clean it. It's fine. We're going to load her in. We're going to select OK. Please select. We're going to cut. We're going to turn our half cut back on because remember we're doing vinyl. So on, hit OK, and we're going to start. Now I can weed it from here, but I don't want to waste all this green that I have, so I'm going to cut it off here. We're going to take it from the corner, okay. and there's all of our little ornaments. So they're all in a nice little row. Now if I wanted to stagger them, and I would have left the tree on there and deleted the tree afterwards, then I could have used transfer tape and just put it on here. But I want to select, and also this is a fun craft for the kids to do. They could just take it like it's stickers and then put it directly onto the tree wherever they want it to put it. So we'll take a red one. I want to put it, let's see, oh, there. I want to put it down here, that would be cute. Or I want to put it up here and I could just stagger them. So let's go ahead and cut out our star for the top. Go back home. Now the machine already has a star built in, but if you wanted to go get your own online, you totally could. Let's see, and we're gonna scroll down until we get to the stars. Okay, we're going to lower that size. Hit OK. Uh, she's a little big. She might power over our tree, so we're going to edit her smaller. Hit OK. OK. We're going to put our vinyl on there. Please select, we're going to cut, half cut is on, so we just need to start. I just cut that way I'm not wasting vinyl again. Okay, there's our little star. 
and we can put her directly onto our Christmas tree. Let's lower her. Now let's finish putting our ornaments on. Stomach's right. growling too. You're oh, right, Tommy. <laughs> And there's our tree. We've got the little topper. And I'm thinking this actually would be great for the kids because you could cut out all the little ornaments and have them put it on there each day and make it into an advent calendar. Something fun, something customizable if you wanted to. And you could just stick it right onto the wall and it would be really, really cute. For more tutorials, make sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we'll see you next time.